With the biggest grin that you can't see on that side of the video, I want to say uh, welcome back to the multiverse. My name is Jimmy, and this is the relaunch of the channel. You have probably watched a video or two from Joe, who is also on the multiverse team. If you guys would like to see more commentaries from him, definitely let us know in the comment section. But I am glad to say uh, that I am back in the multiverse channel is back. We will primarily be covering Marvel, but we will dabble out, of course, with the new DC Universe and then other shows and things that people are excited about. But the primary focus is Marvel. And what a time to be focused on Marvel. Do me a favor. Drop a like. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you never miss an upload. And today, yes, like everybody else, in this community and out there talking about RDJ, talking about Avengers, how is this going to work with Robert Downey Jr. being Victor Von Doom? Well, there are some theories, and today we are going to go over the most popular, in my opinion, theory on how Marvel actually roadmaps this moving forward where it makes any kind of sense. And I know the community is divided. A lot of people say, uh, well, they're going to just live action Doom uh, and we're not going to get that really, really just thought out, fleshed out storyline like we've gotten in the comics. And it's going to uh, do an injustice to Victor Von Doom. Then I've seen other people say it's Robert Downey Jr. He's going to crush it one way or another, even if they don't tell the right story, which I don't agree with. They have to tell the right story here to make this work because... Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Everybody knows that. Literally the face of Iron Man. And now he's going to be the face of one of the, if not the argue, or arguably the, the, the most dominant, most powerful villain in Marvel history. That's a tricky one to, uh, to actually knock out of the park. Yes, the Russo brothers are back, so that's a good thing. All, all roads, all uh, green arrows, red arrows, everything point to this being the comeback. Now, everybody says the foothold is Deadpool and Wolverine. We'll talk about that in another video, being the launch of the new uh, reloaded, refreshed Marvel Cinematic Universe. So the question is, how do you take Robert Downey Jr. and make him Doom? How do you make him Victor Von Doom and actually make it make sense? Well, there is a theory flying around. I've seen it on a couple channels. I think I saw it on Everything Always. I may have seen it on Cosmic Wonder as well. And it pulls straight from a Marvel Comics What If line. And if this is the way they go, I really feel like they can actually uh, cross all their T's, dot all their I's, and really, really fully utilize RDJ. Because let's, let's be honest with each other. We've got Secret Wars coming. We will not have Secret Wars without Iron Man, correct? So, is it going to be RDJ playing a variant, or will it be a different face playing a variant? Well, when you're paying this guy whatever it ends up being, $80 million to come back for these two and probably a couple cameos to spice things up, you're going to fully utilize him in every possible way. And if they go with this what-if storyline, they could actually knock that out of the park. They could have their Robert Downey Jr. cake, and they could eat it too. So let's jump into it. It's it's basically a uh, switch. It's a face-off, okay? Everybody knows what if puts, it puts different characters in different situations to see how it would have panned out. And this one specifically gives Victor Von Doom Tony Stark as a roommate instead of Richard Reed in college. So Tony Stark and Victor are roommates. And I'll just summarize it for you really quick. Victor gets very jealous of how Tony was brought up and uh, silver spooned and just taken care of to the point where he pulls his own face off. If you've never seen Face Off, it's it's a classic. You should definitely uh, go give it a, go give it a watch. Basically, he figures out a way to put himself in Tony Stark's body. Now, if you think about that, what do you do there? I mean, uh, you take that and you translate it into the MCU. We've seen Robert Downey Jr. in the Doom outfit. They're going to show his face. And I know a lot of Doom is with the mask behind it, but I promise you're not paying him $80 million to keep the mask on the entire time, especially if we get any type of origin story for how he actually became Doom. So right there, that solves the scenario of why does Doom, Victor Von Doom, look like Tony Stark 
in Iron Man. Now they could take the cheap way out. They could take the Chris Evans way and just say it's just a variant that happens to look like him because you have, spoiler alert, I don't even know if that's a spoiler anymore, but if it is for Deadpool Wolverine, you, you might want to click off this video for the next 30 seconds. I gave you warning. So yeah, Chris Evans, Human Torch, reprising his role in Deadpool and Wolverine, has nothing to do with Chris Evans, Captain America, two completely different universes, different timelines, so they could pull that. That, to me, is very weak. If they go the route of saying, oh, it is Victor Von Doom, it just happens to look like Tony Stark, that, that's, I think that's weak. I think that's really, really low storytelling, and I don't think they're going to go that route. They could, but I don't think they're going to go that route. They could also say that it's not Victor Von Doom. They could say it's Tony Stark and uh, he has turned into Doom. Harry's infamous Iron Man. Whatever, whatever storylines out there, they could go that route as well. But that doesn't make any sense with the announcement they gave. And when Robert Downey Jr. was announced as Doctor Doom, they specifically said Victor Von Doom. So to me, all roads point to this storyline where Victor figures out a way to get into Tony Stark's body and then he starts doing doom things as Tony Stark and here's where it gets really really fancy and here's how they can totally capitalize on RDJ in every manner possible we know with Secret Wars we don't know what we're getting with Doomsday I mean the obvious is that uh, Doom is going to just go crazy and uh, just create all kinds of chaos. I've also seen the rumor out there that he's actually thinking he's doing good and he's trying to stop all the incursions. So he's going to create this one unified world, battle world, and he thinks that he's fixing everything by ruling over that world. We'll talk about that in another video if we feel like it has any legs or it's a theory that we want to discuss. But I don't really know about Doomsday other than them setting up Secret Wars. They have to make him really bad. I mean, they have to make you understand that he is the villain here same as they did with Thanos and then just uh, drop a few people here and there bodies left and right right that's what I'm gonna get out of it and we can't see him in doomsday is the first time he appears we have to see him uh, multiple times before they have to start building this arc very very fast who else do we have to see in secret wars I mean in my opinion spider-man is a given wolverine's a given Thor I mean all of those people have to be in secret wars for it to make any sense. Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch. There's a lot of others that I feel have to be in that checkbox or you're like, well, this isn't really Secret Wars. Hulk, I mean, you can't you can't have Secret Wars without Hulk. And the ultimate one you can't have it with now that we have the MCU and uh, now that there is such a legacy with Iron Man is Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. Well, how do you do that when the main villain is staring across as Robert Downey Jr. You go with the what if line. You go with the what if storyline. It is Doom Victor in Tony Stark's body. So we get through Doomsday, maybe at the end of it or the beginning of Battle or Battle World, Secret Wars, then uh, somehow Tony gets his body back or takes back control or wherever Victor put him, uh, he somehow gets that face off back and gets his body back. And then we get the original Victor Von Doom, the one we've never seen before as uh, the, uh, the real Doom. And if that happens, if somehow Tony can get his body back, get Victor out of there, Victor goes back to his original body or another body, who even knows, then you not only have RDJ as the mega vill villain for the multiversal saga, but you also have the return of of quite possibly the most popular character ever in the MCU in Iron Man. You literally, if you're Marvel, you get to eat your cake, have it, share it, split it up, divide it. You get it all. You get the whole shebang when it comes to RDJ and that huge, huge paycheck that you're going to be paying him. So there you go. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think they pull from the what if storyline? They're not going to do it word for word or page for page or panel for panel. We know that. But to me, this makes the absolute most sense if you're trying to make it make sense that Tony Stark is Victor Doom, <laughs> however you're going to do that, but also getting Tony Stark to be the Iron Man we know and love, albeit a variant because they're not going to mess with the legacy of 616's Iron Man. We know that. But that, to me is how you make it all just come together and put a little bow on top of it. 
Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want us to do a theory video about Secret Wars because there's some wild stuff out there and it's good to be back. I'll see you guys soon.